Hey guys, it's Cut Light Smoke back again for Stoga Clock, and today we're taking a look at the Drew Estate Liga Pravada Unico Serie Nasty Fritas. Now this is the follow-up to the Papa's Fritas, which is French fries in Spanish. That's uh, one of the one of the ones I learned and uh, retained back from high school. Um, but anyways, this is a follow-up to that cigar. It's a very similar blend. Um, it's got the same kind of trimmings inside. Uh, if you guys don't know about Papa's Fritas, I guess I'll back up a little bit. Papa's Fritas was a blend that came out a few years back. Uh, very small cigars, they were traditional shape. Um, now with these, they're a little more unique, but the traditional shape Papa's Fritas uh, are a short filler blend with a real binder and wrapper. And so what you have with this is very similar. You have a Connecticut Broadleaf Oscuro wrapper, Brazilian Matafina binder, and then inside Honduran and Nicaraguan tobaccos, all trimmings of the T52 and the number nine. Um, same thing for that Papa's Fritas, but these retail for $6.25. It's a 4x52 short pyramid. We're going to go ahead and cut this bad boy up. We're going to light them and we're going to smoke them. Now on this, if you guys can see, by the way, it had a little better pigtail. I don't know if that's going to focus, uh, but it had a much, 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 much better pigtail on this. Eh, you know, you can't really see it, but before I broke that off trying to get it out of the cellophane, it was very snug. Um, no big deal there. Not going to affect the performance. So um, with the pigtails, you can sometimes, depending on the cigar, um, you can actually just twist them off and then smoke them. Uh, a really good one that that's effective on uh, is the Red Knight from JSK. Really, really easy way to do that without having to have a cutter. But I prefer a cutter. So um, closed foot on this guy. Now wrapper. I smell like, this is really weird, but like chocolate and a little bit of mint. Uh, <laughs> it's like a cedar and mint aroma. And it's not that it's infused. This is not an infused cigar from Drew Estate. They took the size from one of the acid lines. Um, this was not stored with anything infused. I just get, see now it seems a little more like grassy. But anyway, somewhere in those lines, not that that makes a difference. Head on this is very tiny. Just a very, very, very mild, like, <laughs> it's bad to say, but a, like a mildew taste. Um, so anyways, we'll go ahead and cut this, well, we already lit them up, or cut them. I can't talk today, guys. I haven't had a lot of sleep, so we're going to go ahead and light this cigar, and we're going to do a cigar review, and we're going to try to do it well. Um, if not, you guys can let me know. I'm sure you will, and I'm sure the trolls will. So, <laughs> anyways. Alrighty, that first light you get a lot of that flavor from that closed foot, there's quite a bit of tobacco on there, but that um, Connecticut Broadleaf Oscuro, uh, really, really, really rich, deep, like chocolate flavor. Through the nose, not much, a um, little bit of like a, I, I'd call it just a light black pepper um, with like a hint of cocoa. Smoke production is pretty good, even with how tiny this cap is, or this head. On the finish, a little bit more of the same. Um, I'm not expecting this cigar to be super complex, so I guess I'll start the review off there. Um, being that it's short filler, I expect it to be consistent, because they do shortcut all the leaves um, and pack them in there. So hopefully this will be a consistent experience. These are great or at least the Papa's Fritas were. I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, but the Papa's Fritas were amazing cigars for times like this where it's really, really, really effing cold outside and you just wanna have a little cigar, you know? So you can get a half an hour in. We'll see how long this one lasts, being that it's so fat at the, the foot here. So anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm just gonna smoke the thing. So I'll see you guys in a little while. And we're back with this nasty Fritas. Half an hour in here, this thing's actually burning a lot slower than I thought it would, but that's the big end. So it's gonna become more rapid here. Um, we're gonna call this a third, just because it was you know, about an inch or so. A um, Little bit less than that, but since that part has a lot more tobacco, I know this is gonna go pretty quick, so I'm trying to base it on time a little bit. Um, on the draw on this first third, picked up some cocoa and leather, really rich, bold leather flavor. Through the nose, there's just a mild cedar. Um, and then on the finish, a very long, lingering black pepper um, with a little hint of cocoa, not much more than that. 
strength in the body settled in at a medium mark uh, very simple flavors but they work and like I said earlier this is the important thing about cigars like this is that you want to have just consistent good flavor you know it's a short filler cigar it's not meant to be some big complex you know transitions all the time thing um, it's just meant to be enjoyed relatively quickly so we'll see how much longer this lasts going into the second third maybe they'll just be two thirds and it'll just be halves I don't know uh, but I'll keep smoking on it here and I'll be back shortly and we're back about 50 minutes in here um, same flavors on the draw, but a lot more bold this time um, on this third. Now through the nose, there's more cedar, uh, plus a little bit of black pepper there as well. On the finish, really, really, really bold cocoa and black pepper spice. Um, hint of espresso in there as well. Strength in the body jumped up a bit to medium to full. And overall, burn's been pretty good. Draw's been great. Um, starting to burn a lot faster now. Um, so we're going to call this the end of the second third. And I imagine the first third will get us, you know, maybe a little bit longer in, uh, but much quicker. So um, we'll go ahead and finish this bad boy out here, and I'll come back to you guys with my final thoughts. And we're back with the Nasty Fritas. About an hour and 15 minutes in here, this thing lasted a lot longer than I had anticipated. Uh, so maybe this isn't the best choice for a really cold day. Uh, on the draw in this final third, no real change there. Um, through the nose, some black pepper with a little bit of cinnamon now. On the finish, not a huge change, just really, really bold black pepper and dark cocoa. Um, that espresso kind of dropped off. That was just kind of hints on the last second, or the, the second third. Um, strength in the body, about the same here, uh, medium to full. Um, and overall, I would say that this Nasty Fritas is a good cigar for what it is. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's $6.25 for a very small cigar, you know, not a terrible price, pretty decent price. Um, there are competing cigars, I think, that are better. Uh, when you're talking about things that aren't all long fillers, I would say my number one that comes at the top of my head right now would be the JSK Toothpick 2.0 Maduro. Um, that is an excellent stick, and I believe it's just a little bit cheaper than this too, or right along the same price. Um, but this is still very good. Uh, don't expect this to like blow your mind and be the best cigar of the year or anything like that. Uh, it's just a good cigar for a quick, relatively quick smoke speaking, uh, and not a bad price. So they're, they're definitely worth trying. Um, not super complex or anything like that. The burn was great. Um, everything worked out just fine there. Construction's perfect. One thing I will note, make sure you clip the head off enough because if you do just a little bit, you possibly will get a lot of tar through there because it kind of just funnels it down happens sometimes on torpedoes or pyramids um, this one's extra skinny so just a side note I had that happen I did have to clip it one extra time so uh, but anyways overall good cigar uh, definitely worth trying out I'd like to get a few more myself uh, just to have on hand for uh, somewhat quick smoke so anyways guys uh, if you like my video hit the like button subscribe check out irobusto.com until next time you guys keep it smoky and I'll catch you later see ya